Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Azrael. Oh my goodness! Yeah! So tonight I'm going to be making... I really hope you can see me because I... This is my, the back camera on my phone and... It's, you know... Sucks. Anyway. Tonight we're going to be making a cheesy chicken broccoli rice casserole. Sounds good. I think it sounds good. I think it sounds delicious. Sounds really good. Anyway, the ingredients are here. As you can see, we have broccoli. We have chicken broth, olive oil, salt, pepper, a can of cream of chicken soup, garlic, minced garlic, chicken, onion, and rice. So, the first thing you gotta do is turn your beautiful oven, a stove, up onto medium. And then wait. While you wait, you may want to add some olive oil, only a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons, apologies. Just, that's good. And then let that heat up. All right, once the oil is hot, the way you can tell is if it smoothly starts going around the pan and also can take a little bit of your onion. Don't do water or anything like that because that can spit on you. I don't know if you can hear it, but you see the little bubbles that are coming up? It's a great indicator that the oil is hot enough. So once the oil is hot enough, you're going to come over here. Notice I rearranged my ingredients. These are going first, then these, then this over here, and then these two. And we're going to probably ask, did I measure this cheese? And the answer is <laughs> no. So once the oil is hot, you're going to take your chicken, delicious chicken, add that. Oh my goodness. Trying to do both these things at the same time is difficult. Put that back. And at the same time, you're going to do your onion. Get all that in there. All of it. One-handed. Dang it. Okay. And then you're going to just mix those together and cook them until the onion is transparent and the chicken starts to get browned. Don't forget that while you're cooking the chicken here and the onions, you should always add salt and pepper. This is a mix of salt and pepper that I just made up. I use rainbow pepper and pink Himalayan sea salt. If you ever have the chance to get pink Himalayan sea salt, you should try it. By itself, it is honestly rather, rather delicious. And it's really, really good for you. High in all sorts of like antioxidants and stuff, I think. What does this container say? It says, um, high in minerals and such. Cool. So yeah, don't forget to toss some salt and pepper on this bad boy. And then mix it together so that it coats everything nicely. You want to make sure everything is coated so the whole thing can get seasoned properly. If it's not seasoned properly, it'll taste like crap. Honestly. Mmm. Let's give that a sniff. <sighs> Smells good! Mmm. Honestly, might need a little bit more salt and pepper. All right. I'm gonna have it like that for now. Put the salt and pepper off to the side, and we continue cooking this until all, you see all this watery stuff in here. It's not gonna be good for this because we need to get all that out because we're gonna be adding the um, chicken broth. And once we add the chicken broth, that's what's going to cook the rice. So if we don't get all this watery stuff out, the rice will become overcooked. 
and then it's mushy and gross. Right, hon? Mush, mushy overcooked rice. It's gross, right? Okay, she says yes. All right, be right back. Ooh, we're nearly there. See how this stuff is starting to turn brown? Mmm. It's always good to have a little brown crust on your chicken. It makes it taste fantastic. Don't forget, cats are awesome. All right, next we add garlic. Garlic. Focus on the garlic. On the garlic. Oh, there we go. Add garlic. Four cloves. By the way, this is two chicken breasts and one small chopped onion. Diced however you want to do it. Add two, no, four, sorry, cloves of garlic. Get that mixing around in there. Oh yeah. That's smelling good already. Cook it for like 30 seconds or so to get that garlic all aromatic. Once you start smelling nice, roasted smelling garlic, you'll know it is time for the next ingredients. Once you've got that nice, garlicky smell coming out of the pot, you take two cups of um, chicken broth and one can, ten and a half ounce can, of cream of chicken soup, which is what that is. I just mix them together so that I can get rid of the can. Or I put the can in here so I could get rid of the can. Get that all in there. Once you do that, always make sure you put your dishes that you're not using anymore in the sink. Once you get that in the pan, gotta mix it up nice. Get that cream of chicken all, you know, mixed it up in there. If this is not enough chicken broth, like you need more because the rice turns out not cooked enough and it's still crunchy, you can always use another cup because the instructions do say use three cups, start with two. All right. We're going to get that to start boiling, and then we're going to add the rice afterwards, so be right back. All right, now that our stuff here, this chicken deliciousness, is boiling, we're going to add the rice. Three-quarter cup regular white rice. Those little dark ones is a, a jazzberry rice that I had earlier that I left in the container that I put my rice in. You can just add this to your boiling concoction mix thoroughly and then leave uncovered also turn down your heat to about here leave uncovered and cook for about 15 minutes. Mmm, that's already smelling good. See you in 15. Make sure that while you are cooking the rice, you stir occasionally. You do not want it to get stuck to the bottom of the pan and burn. Because that will make the whole thing taste like, honestly, like cigarettes. Been there, had that, burned rice as cigarettes. Remember to occasionally taste your dish as you're cooking it. If it needs more salt and pepper, add more salt and pepper. Don't be afraid to add some salt and pepper, but also keep in mind, don't add too much. That looks good. Right back. So, once it's cooked, yes, this is cooked. I know it's not going to look like the way rice usually looks. This looks like it's still liquidy, but it's supposed to look like that. I swear. 
<laughs> it's not going to be totally like dried out like not really dried out but you know what I mean like the way rice looks when you make it in a rice cooker because of all the stuff that we've added to it it's going to be a little thick and liquidy like this so once we get to this point we're going to take our broccoli and add that two cups of broccoli mix that on in there mix 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 mmm looking good uh-huh mix it in just like so we're going to take half half of the cheese half the cheese just sprinkle that in half the cheese is going to get mixed in half the cheese is going to go on top so once you've got half the cheese on there start mixing that in getting it nice and cheesy and you're going to do this and keep it on medium at this point until the broccoli gets soft that is if you use fresh broccoli if you use frozen broccoli um, you're not going to wait until it gets soft it's you're going to have to nuke it for a little bit so but still two cups I'm going to let this broccoli get soft and we'll be right back so now that the cheese is mixed in and melted and the broccoli has gotten all soft we're going to flatten this out so it looks nice and flat like so and we're going to put the rest of the cheese on top of it. I'm just going to get all this off. We don't want to waste any of this delicious stuff. So, do that. Off. Goodness gracious. I'm going to put the other cheese on top. But before we do that, you've got to take your oven, put it on a high broil. Now, we can add the rest of the cheese on top. Make sure it's spread nice and evenly. Looks lovely. At this point, you can also turn off your uh, stove top. Boom. Just like that. And now, as you can see, we've got the broiler is supposed to be on. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. So we're going to wait a second and let this get hot. And I'll be right back. Okay, now that it's hot, you know, nice and red and very, very warm, we're going to take our pan. Keep in mind, this is a fully oven-safe pan. There's nothing on here that'll melt. We're going to stick this right up here in top, right underneath there, and leave it for a second. You don't have to close the oven. You can just leave the oven open. That's fine. We're going to let that get nice and melted and cooked and crispy defied on the top. Ooh, getting close. All right, there it is. One perfect one pan cheesy broccoli chicken rice casserole yes anyway fantastic I hope you guys had a good time watching me prepare this meal maybe you can prepare it yourself sometime I will leave the recipe in the description down below link it um, I believe this one's on Pinterest yes it is so yeah anyway Hope you guys had a good time. Thank you for joining me. And if you make this, enjoy. Ta-ta.